This video is a follow up to my earlier video on Letty Mix Gain Match, which is a gain match comparison tool for comparing the before and after process signals. It seems like not that many people are aware of it or using it. It's really an expensive plugin. It's currently like $9 and I would advise anyone that's serious about audio engineering to not sleep on it. It's great. It's the kind of plugin that really should be a feature that's built into DAWs by default, but isn't. So. I'm going to test it out here on some things. The update that they've done allows you to raise the volume of the before signal to match the after signal, which means that you can now compare things within the context of a mix, which is an awesome change. So I have this like a heavy rock track kind of Queens of the Stone Age vibes. And uh, yeah, I'll just do a before and after comparison on some of the tracks on it. So start off with this guitar, I'll put game match at the start of the chain, and then hold alt and drag to the end of the chain, and that gives me an after. Then to enable this new feature, you activate the listen before. Right click on listen before and display listen gain. Then you click auto. What you might need to do as well is click the little detect delay and it'll compensate for the, the delay. That's processed. And that's before. It's quite a bit cleaned up the low end and it has a bit more bite to it. I'll do the same on this. Actually, we'll just make it easy on ourselves and hold alt and just drag across and then drag it to the end, same way. So again, activate listen before, then right click and click on listen again or display listen again. Then click auto. And it brings up the volume of the before to match the after. Click the little delay. Basically, it's internal delay compensation on game match. That's before. No, sorry, that's process. And that's before. Not a massive difference on that one. Let's try it on this one. Again, hold alt and then drag to the end. process that's before that's processed so let's try the drums So 
again, you enable this one before, right click, enable display this and gain, and then click auto, and auto will automatically bring up the gain to match the before signal, or it'll bring the before signal up to match the after signal. And then once it's up there, oh, I need to do the delay compensation. So you could hear the difference even within the context of the mix, but that's before. And that's after. tread on this guitar bus. So again, hold alt, drag it across, and then hold alt again to copy it to the end. UAD 176 on that one. It's like a tube compressor. to hear what the tube compressor's adding. It's quite an authentic tube sound from from that. It's only doing gentle compression but it's it's adding a nice kind of tube saturation. before and that's after So yeah, I mean, a great update from a really great developer who seems to be releasing updates very quickly, and they're really useful updates as well. I mean, that update has made it from a useful comparison tool to like a really useful mixing tool. So yeah, don't sleep on it. $9. Definitely recommend it. Cheers.